Oui, bonsoir à Fou Africa TV, à Prime Mon Afrique. C'est encore un plaisir pour nous de vous avoir aussi nombreux en ce jour pour la célébration de la Journée internationale de la femme qui aura à l'ANAM. Et c'est un plaisir, hein, une fois de plus, d'être au bout de ces mal comme d'habitude. Ça, tout le monde bougera, nous y serons. Nous souhaitons déjà une bonne fin à la femme pour l'année 2013. Et espérons que le thème qui a été choisi, hein, euh, la lutte contre la violence à la femme, euh, apportera ses fruits. Euh, une fois de plus, euh, nous disons merci à toutes les femmes qui ont pu euh, se mettre ensemble pour que cet événement euh, qui se passe ce soir soit un succès. Euh, Madame Damaris, euh, qui a tenu à organiser avec euh, les autres soeurs camerounaises, euh, là de la femme, des soeurs camerounaises, ici à la Ray, war, everything, name it. We have the highest death. You know, if you are in labor or if you are pregnant, in Sudan, a chance that you will die is very high. It's, I don't understand, I mean, I don't know what to do. Or we don't know what's going on in the country. Every, like right now I'm talking to you from the heart. I don't have any notes. I'm just telling you what's going on there. Um, today we're talking about women's, uh, we're talking about women and violent, violent. So I think I know what is violent, you know. But we thank God for our new government for Sudan or South Sudan. And um, for us women, They give us a seat of 25% in our government, which is a great thing to happen in Africa. And uh, we are very happy. Before I introduce the guest uh, or the speaker, the keynote speaker for tonight, I will invite everybody to the floor. Come on, enjoy yourself. Uh, and we're gonna say no to violence, okay? All right, everybody. <laughs>
percent of female victims are killed by their intimate partners. That means those they love, those they sleep with. They're killing them. And between 100 and 140 million girls, I heard one of the young ladies say this, she talked about the genital mutilation that's going on. Now yesterday in this country, President Barack Obama signed a bill. It's the Violence Against Women Act. It's actually a reestablishment of a bill. Every so often they have to keep signing again because they don't have it in their minds enough that it needs to be law and never touched with. And we have 125 countries that have laws against women. That's pretty good. 125 countries have laws to protect women and girls, but yet 603 million women wake up every day. They live in a country where there, it is, it's not against the law to beat them, it's not against the law to rape them, and it's not against the law to murder them. 603 million women wake up every day in a country where there is not one law that protects their life. Now I'm not here to be an expert on violence against women. I just did some basic research on the internet and it became very clear that when I spoke tonight, not only could I not speak from a place of religion, but I can't speak from a place other than from what, what's within. I can only speak to you from what I know. I am a woman. And at one time I was a girl. And like many of all of my sisters in this room, I began in innocence. And like the majority of the women in this room, the majority of us, we can personally witness an account of violence or abuse on ourselves, our mothers, our sisters, our grandmothers, in addition to other women in our family, our aunts and our cousins. We know it. We have experienced it and we have seen it. Glory to God that I'm able to be here and lift up my voice on this International Women's Day. It is so important for us to talk about the elimination and prevention of violence against women and girls. I'd like to graciously thank my sister Damaris and all the mothers and other sisters and women here, especially for SSPC and all of the congregations. And to each of you that's here tonight in the audience, you didn't have to be here. You could have been somewhere else. So I'd like to thank you for coming out as well. It is my prayer that something that is said tonight encourages you. Now when I was first asked to speak here, I became a little bit nervous. My area of knowledge is spirituality and theology and Christian education. And I want you to hear me when I say this. Regardless of your faith tradition, doesn't matter if you're Christian, Jewish, Muslim, regardless of your faith tradition or your religious denomination, if you don't already know, I'm here to tell you that the misuse, the misuse of religion is one of the biggest forces that perpetuate control, exploit, enslavement, and abuse, and it regulates women and girls. This is no joke. Generation after generation after generation made to feel less than. We can rise above the guilt that we carry about what somebody else did. We are not alone. 
there is a sister somewhere that will stand with you. If you are willing and able, stand to your feet and witness and offer healing to somebody else. You see, you, my sisters and brothers, you can be strong enough to protect the innocent. And you, my sisters and brothers, you can have zero tolerance for abuse and violence, especially against girls. By God's grace, may there be less victims and more women who serve, who serve each other in spirit and in truth. In the name of Christ, I pray. Amen. Give a standing ovation to this lady as she's leaving. She's a reverend and uh, a bishop Bradshaw. Thank you very much for this outstanding, not necessarily uh, prayer, but also illustrative just narrative. One word for the woman and also letting the men to understand that violence is nothing that can prevail. And we hope that we did learn something tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who do not know before she exits the hall, we need to give women the love that they deserve, the greatest love ever given in mankind. A Prince Mussolini of India gave a big love as we applaud while she exits the hall. Can we applaud one more time? That love that a man gave a woman, it was a splendor of an era in the 17th century, it was symmetrically well built and it's known as the Taj Mahal. That's the largest gift ever given out of love. And it was given to a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, let's Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning and uh, uh, good evening. Uh, happy Women uh, Day to this year, 2013. After the opening floor uh, by the Reverend Pastor that just gives some advice to women, we're going to start this event uh, by opening the floor we are uh, going to start with the sweet mother that is a son that was seen to honor a woman to honor a mother by prince nikombaga uh prince nikombaga that passed uh, away uh, many years ago that was from uh, one part from cameroon and another from uh, nigeria uh, this is going to be the opening floor of this uh, 2013 Women day and the floor will be open by a woman with the song Sweet Mother in very few minutes. Uh, bonsoir Afri, mon Afri TV. Oui, nous sommes dans la lancement de la soirée, uh, la journée internationale de la femme uh, du, de l'année 2013. Pour le lancement, uh, on a bien voulu honorer la femme, la mère. Et c'est par la chanson Sweet Mother de Prince Nikon Baga qui nous a quitté il y a quelques années et qui était de moitié camerounais et nigérien. C'est dans ce sais pas que euh, la Journée internationale de la femme va s'ouvrir ici à, dans le Maryland. Nous sommes là à l'ANAM euh, pour euh, honorer euh, les femmes du monde. En ce jour d'aujourd'hui, euh, nous voyons dans les femmes qui ont décidé de se lever, de s'esquisser euh, sur les pas de cette musique euh, Sweet Mode qui était euh, un honneur euh, que Prince Nico Mbaga a dû donner euh, aux rouges, sœurs. Et c'est sur ces pas que nous allons ouvrir la cérémonie. Euh, les conseils tout à l'heure étaient donnés par le révérend pasteur qui a parlé euh, brièvement de la violence faite à la femme dans les ménages et qui dit euh, que les femmes et les hommes doivent se mettre ensemble. De tout éclair, vous laissez mon nom comme d'habitude pour que c'est vrai. Nous restons connectés. Merci. C'est la fête de la femme à Maryland, Washington, D.C. Et nous voyons que les femmes sont en plein dans D.C. Très enchaînées et nous allons les demander à commencer par Mme Ivo Ponga, que nous remarquons ici dans les rangs, très connue dans le Mérilet. Mme Ivo Ponga, la fête de la femme, pour vous, qu'est-ce que ça représente La femme, c'est ça. La fête de la femme, c'est une journée spéciale pour les femmes. Là, pour vous, vous célébrez quoi C'est une journée spéciale, c'est quoi Qu'est-ce que vous Attendez par la journée internationale de la femme. C'est un jour que Dieu a choisi que les 
femmes soient contentes, elles s'épanouissent, elles réussissent, elles sentent qu'elles sont les femmes, les mamans de la terre. Merci. Nous allons prendre une autre femme ici. Hello, hello. Vous venez de l'international de Foyou, vous êtes des amis. What does that mean? The woman day. The woman day today. What is the meaning of it for you? Oh, that's a the fight against violence, against women. You want to fight against the violence against women. Or when we see women in leader position. So for you guys celebrating one day, they stay in the house 364 days, that is the celebration. No, we, we celebrate this one day, but we want but we celebrate throughout the year. This one day is just a special day. We can get for that, but we keep fighting all through the year. On our city, we will continue. I demand to the city to get the level of duty for the Fête Internationale de la Femme que ça représente. The Fête de la Femme. The respect of the Femme. The amour of the Femme.
ladies and gentlemen, I'm called the MC for tonight. Is she in the house to lead us to a light refreshment and dinner that is next door? You walk up there, get what you want to eat, sit down, and we'll continue with the program. There's no protocol to this. And it took me eight more years after that to stand here tonight and tell parts of my story as a woman who once was a girl. I am not only surviving right now, but I'm thriving. Many women, when they think about the pain and the tragedy they suffered, they don't talk. I hear to celebrate no International Women Day or you think no one's selling listening? alcohol. What is the truth? Oh, the truth? Yes. What are you doing here? I'm selling. I count it all joy to alcohol. share my truth. Do you want to say something about the International Women Day? I know that the God that is within me is yeah, greater than any man. We are just here to celebrate the any Women's man. Day and we are happy to be here and we wish that it will continue. I have no shame. Uh, and I have here. no fear of Did rejection. You know before, but I'm happy that you people brought it here. My name is Beatrice. Only Fogon. by the grace of God that I'm a lady of a
to this welcome speech that is going to be performed by Miss Stephanie. These are young uh, girls. Not the opening speech is always done by keynote speakers, but this time, let's hold on together one more time for Stephanie. We're gonna listen one after another and we would understand this is a welcome speech, that which is performed by some great, beautiful women, the future ah. of our women. Thank you, Mr. DJ. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this beautiful event. I hope you all know the reason why you're here today. Dear mothers, aunties, sisters, friends, and colleagues, aren't you all tired of being beaten? Aren't you all tired of being bullied and violated against? I think we all are. It's not only our mothers, it's us, the youth, and mothers of tomorrow. And as you know, we will be mothers of tomorrow. We're just not ready yet. That's right. A world where we think it's okay for us to be violated against? Do we want to be the people who will be beaten and yet we go outside and think it's okay? No, I don't think we do. I have seen many cultures, including my own, seek to justify this so many years and it simply doesn't stand up to me. It's just not right and I think it's time for all of us to stop this violence against women. Why do we have to go through violence? Every day, women and youth are subjected to different forms of violence, which could be sexual, physical, and psychological, both within and outside their homes. The rate of women and children who experience violence in their lives vary between 15 and 76 percent. She hear that 76 percent. Why can we allow that to keep going on? This statistics varies from region to region. In the developing countries, I'm pretty sure we all come from developing countries, so you can understand what these women are going through. And the highest number is women our age, so you can understand why we're here to promote the event. To present some statistics, I'm going to pass it over to my dear sister to give you some. Worldwide, up to 50% of sexual assaults are committed against girls under 16. An estimated 150 million girls under the age of 18 suffered some form of sexual violence in 2002 alone. Approximately 100 to 140 million girls and women in the world have experienced female genital mutilation, 
with more than three, three million girls in Africa annually at risk of practice. The first step towards solving this problem is creating awareness. The United Nations has designated the 25th of November as International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. This day is to raise awareness of the fact that women around the world are subject to rape, domestic violence, and other forms of violence. Companies like Avon have founded for women, have foundations for women where women can talk about their domestic problems. Primary prevention could be achieved as early as childhood. Raise your children right, tell them the right thing to do. Let's be careful to, as to what we show our children because we do grow up with the things that we learn from our older generation. We wanna thank Ms. Damaris Tumentang for putting this together to raise awareness against violence in the youth, in all women, mothers, children, and our future generation. Thank you. Um, as far back as 1893, New Zealand which is the first sovereign state to give the woman the right to vote, not until 1919 that the American amendment to the Constitution allowed women in America to vote. So the women have gone through a lot, but in the recent years, you will find that if you go to all the schools in America, women are dominating. Women are taking leadership roles, they are doing big things in our community, and the men, we are beginning to take this back stool and let the women lead. So let's give a round of applause to women in the world and nationally. As you can recognize, these women came up here, they are young, they are the youth, they are the future, and they are women. And, uh, the abuse on women in the world, and they came to advocate for that. I hope you did listen carefully. Um, I guess the opposite sex has to pay attention. And if you would rec recognize that 1963, even in Cameroon, uh, educating women was just something that was not even encouraged until you had schools like a Lady of Lords, Seca Baptist College, uh, what, Secarets, and all the other schools that started educating women. Even in
they keep it up. We are people. You want to say happy woman day to your mommy? I am strong, I am important. 
you all them was we have women's day just because we know because we're important and I just want everyone to know that no matter what that's why we have the song sweet mother he dedicated that song to us I just want everyone to know that you are not you're not you're nothing less but important <laughs> Oui, Afro Africa TV, c'est dans ce scène que nous nous séparons. C'est un plaisir une fois de plus de vous servir euh, et en honneur. Euh, Rappelez-vous, Afrique, mon Afrique a besoin de vous. Euh, supportez ce projet. 
euh, afin que nous puissions toujours vous servir, bien sûr, avec beaucoup de volonté et de plaisir. Euh, visitez notre page Box, aidez-nous à, à, à améliorer euh, notre travail et à supporter le coût de, 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 de l'investissement que nous mettons pour vous faire parvenir l'information. Nous comptons sur votre bonne charité. Merci. C'était tout pour cette soirée encore et nous vous retrouvons dans les plus prochains jours. Thank you for Africa TV was everything. As we said, we need your support. We pledge, please, for your support because of the cost and the time meet of this uh, project to bring you the information and to save you with all our pleasure. Please visit our box uh, donation and give no matter what you have to support this project because information is something that is not easy. Uh, we put in a lot here and we're hoping that African community and all those that follow us since 2010 can support this project so that together we can continue. Please visit our donation box. It's with you that we're going to hold and continue this project. It's with you that we're going to improve this project and it's with you that this, con this project will never last. We thank you for your support and we hope that Afro Africa TV will save you as long as possible and help us to help you. Thank you is everything. Stay connected. See you next time. Next event is going to be again our pleasure saving you. Bye bye. <laughs>